Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter, Basic Sorgonomics for today. Please sign up for everything at Sorgatron.com. Uh, but of course, uh, today uh, it's Friday. Friday, Friday. And uh, as I'm starting new ventures today, uh, I'll probably get into a little more. Uh, I'm actually moving into an office today. Uh, well, not moving. I'm just kind of showing up with my laptop. It's kind of a co-working space up there in Allentown, uh, here in the Pittsburgh neighborhoods. In the, in, in, and I'm not even crossing a river to do it. So that, that's really helpful for me, uh, just from uh, one mountain to the next. Uh, so, but, but still, like, coming down here, and I think this, regardless, uh, this basic sorgonomics is going to uh, still remain here in front of you and this webcam and everything and this setup and all of our nice little uh, uh, menagerie of things behind me uh, because of comfort level, you know? Um, I, you know, looking at this, part of part of the move is 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 going to be access to assets, uh, including hardware, including a podcast studio and, 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 and you know, some ideas uh, that we're, we're working on there. And, uh, but I, I had a whole other topic plan, but... When I came down here and sat down in front of this microphone that I'm used to, this chair with Batista's face on it that was uh, given to me by uh, a good friend Dutters, uh, you know, that kind of stuff, you know, it, there's something to be said for that comfort zone. Now, I always talk about you need to get out of that comfort zone because they're not moving forward, right? And uh, that's certainly what we're doing here by moving Sorgatron Media kind of to a new place that with, with you know, with doors and stuff and without neighbors that can't park and and my dog barking at people that visit and, and stuff like that uh so so it's going to be nice to to have you know a nice established place uh that we can meet outside this and, but it, there is always going to be and, and this is going to be where the creativity is going to happen i think i think this is where the the stretching is going to happen is still this studio. I don't think we're going to change much of this studio over over the the the, the changes coming up. Um, I mean, we may have one less computer or something like that, depending on as, as our as our needs change from one place to another. But uh, but I still need a. I, I call me crazy, but I'm still going to need this spot down here against this brick wall. My laundry over there. That's comfortable. Right, that I can just walk in and say, "Hey, I have something to say." You know, I mean, we were doing some stuff like the uh, the, the mini shows for a while there, but if something happens, just to be like, you know, I'm going to walk down and get on my mic and do my thing, and maybe I should be using Periscope more. But it's a little, I don't know. I, I like the the a level of quality going on here. We're recording here. It's HD. It's all this stuff. You know, we have nice nice microphones down here, and uh, you know, we can make something really cool. And, uh, and and having that ability to do that and, and even, you know, stuff with the Google Hangouts and everything, just to know we have a quality. Um, like that comfort level is going to uh, introduce new things. And maybe those grow into something that we bring into a professional studio later uh, as, as we're uh, kind of planning to do with some of our properties. But uh, the, you got to have that comfort level. Now, for you, what does that mean? Uh, if you're making a podcast, if you're making something – uh, you know, maybe you're you're just kind of developing around your computer desk you already have. Do you know how many? I don't know if how many of you guys watch like the This Week in Tech uh, networks or anything else that has a video kind of thing, kind of like what we're doing here, right? Where you have people coming in on Skype or Google Hangout, and you and it's at their desk, and they have a microphone or maybe they have a headset, but you see like their office or their bed and a cat or some lady sitting behind them. Uh, you know, I, you know, DJ Lunchbox, Will Will's Will's setup. Is very interesting because I've been in his apartment, but every time I look through the lens of his webcam, it is completely alien to me. I have no idea where he's at in the context of his apartment, but I've been there. I've seen his setup. I've seen his rig since he's moved it to the other side of the room. I've seen his rig, but still, I have no semblance of where she is sitting, what that room looks like, but I've been there several times. It's so odd. It's just that that lens. Like, I, I don't, as people seem, it's, it's very interesting when people come down here. This is a very modest setup that we have down here. I have lots of computers, sure, but none of them are really that impressive. And we have, like, old CRT TVs, SD TVs that are huge, right? And that's what we're using for monitors. But to see uh, uh, somebody come down here and be impressed by, by, by this stuff uh, it kind of throws me. Because, I mean, this is it. This, this is I, I live down here. You know, like basically how many hours am I down here in front of this stuff, looking at this iMac, looking at this camera lens uh, in front of this microphone. And I got and I got games down here just kind of hanging out, you know, and, and, and this is just my comfort zone. And, and I don't think it's terribly 
impressive. It's just the thing that gets the job done for me. Uh, but it is interesting to see. Oh wow! You look at all this down here. What is? What the hell did he call it when he came in here? Uh, 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 Frank from P- Pittsburgh Podcast Network, a Pittsburgh on Demand, coming up, uh, said that this looked like halt and catch fire. I say, well, it looks like something's going to catch fire. But anyways, uh, but but. I mean, we do have like uh, you know, thanks to uh, those contributions by Chilla, we do have well, old blackberries. I found a pager uh, soon at one point. Uh, we got a cute cat here. If you remember what the heck that is, uh, so I mean, we we try, we try. But I like this because I think this tells a story of where we've been. And uh, unfortunately, I don't think I can take a dead owl to the new studio with me. Um, I, I should put him in my office. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> It'd just be like we're gonna have the weirdest office. Out of anybody there, oh, that's a new goal. That's a new goal. We'll see. We'll see what we can do there. And listen, listen. Last time I had a desk. Um, speaking of comfort zones, last time I had a desk. Uh, you know, you see how I have all these knickknacks and everything here. You should see my office. Like I am a decorator. I am. I'm going to own this space, and there's nothing you can tell me. Um, at one point, I was. I received for my birthday for Christmas uh, the uh, uh, an office space pack which had a little red stapler, which was actually awesome because I actually had a black swing line stapler that I, let's see, the uh, the uh it's been enough years, so I don't think I can get in trouble. Uh, I took the stapler with me, guys. I stole it. I took it when I left work. <laughs> I'm going to admit that, okay? Uh, come after me. Come at me, bro. Uh, but, but I feel like I earned it. I didn't get a severance, so that was my severance. Anyways, even though I quit. Uh, either way. Uh, but, um... See, do I need to release this episode? Uh, But anyways, but no, like, like, so, so, and and there was a banner. uh, If you guys remember from Office Space, uh, there was a banner saying, "Is this what's good for the company?" And I posted it above my desk for the entire office to see, the entire editing room to see. Um, The boss came down and he saw it and he noticed it. That's a good banner, and I'm like, that's not what it means. Uh, But anyway. (laughs) <laughs> I was very, I was a very, very angry worker. I was very, very angry, but I turned my anger, thankfully, into productivity and building a studio in my basement. And look how far it's gotten me. But, anyways, uh, what was the point of this comfort zone? Uh, getting out of the comfort zone. Uh, where are you? So, so uh, you know, uh, we talk about with podcasting, with with everything else, creative, to to lower that barrier, and that's also create your environment too. Uh, so as you're going here, maybe it does start with a phone. You know, I'm periscoping right now. Hi, guys. You're getting a really candid angle here. But I'm periscoping right now. This is where you can start talking to people. Uh, I actually pitched to a couple people that they use Periscope to... I need to readjust my pop screen. Sorry about that. You're going to talk to people about Periscope. And... <laughs> But it's a good place to start. Seriously, it's a good place to interact with people and get used to that. As I'm holding up my pop screen, this is a little janky here, but uh, we'll work on that. Uh, but uh, you know, I mean that that whole idea. Um, um, that's easy. And even if I know for me, I, I, it's hard for me to pull a Periscope because uh, I, I, I'm used to coming down doing this. I have a setup. I have a look and all this stuff. And then I pull up a Periscope and I'm like, well, what's that wall look like behind me? Ooh. We haven't paid that ceiling, you know. I mean, you know, stuff like that like starts popping in my mind. So maybe you have a spot. Maybe you have a, uh, you know. And then some people are comfortable enough. They'll pull up Periscope. All the peas in this episode. They'll pull up Periscope and they're sitting in bed, you know. And it's like, hey guys, you know, and 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 that's it. And that's fine too. But you know, uh, if it's at your desk, wherever you're like, this is the place where I can sit. I can have a conversation with myself, maybe like I'm having with other people, maybe online, you know, maybe using Blab like we were last night. Uh, so, uh, so find your comfort zone there. And here's <laughs> this interesting mixed message. Find your comfort zone to create and then break out of it in the long run. Because you're going to have to find that comfort zone to build, but then you're going to have to break out of that comfort zone to grow yourself. If that makes sense. This might be just an idea forming still. Let me know what you think. If I'm making sense on a Friday, at Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com. Sign up for the newsletter. I'm going to be writing it as soon as I'm done here and get into my new office. Uh, so look out for that. Uh, I'm probably going to be talking about Blab this week. Uh, Blab.im, I'm, I'm really, really fascinated about the possibilities of this. Uh, and, I have, and I haven't been uh, this... I'm not quite as excited. I haven't been this excited about a movement to a video platform uh, since Google Hangout. So, 
that's that tells you where that's at. Everything else has been like, eh. But we'll talk about that on the newsletter. Check out my previous episodes talking about Blab at Sorgatron.com to get a little preview of that. So many peas. Need to readjust this, this pop screen so bad. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.